Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. So we're going to talk about um, full body spiral initiated from the lower body today. And uh, this will start on the mat. The arms are extended out east to west, just off of the shoulders. And then the feet can be slightly apart here. I'm going to draw one knee into my chest and trying to keep that same side shoulder on the floor, I'm going to float that knee across my body and that's going to start to rotate my pelvis so that I'm spiraling to my right side. I'm going to take a deep breath here and then to come back, you just want to bend the knee and think of releasing that top side pelvis back to the floor and then you can let the foot release and find the mat again. So we, we've done a segment where we've worked with the upper body initiating the spiral. This is the lower body. And for some people, if they have low back issues, they don't like to do a lot of rotational movement. You can keep it really small and subtle. Maybe they only go this far, right? Keeping the back hip on the floor. But if they're able, as they extend that top leg, that weight of the leg is just going to pull the body into rotation. And it can be a really nice fascial lengthening, right? Um, and rotation exercise without uh, them even realizing that they're, they're going into rotation. And then you just kind of simply let the bones come back to neutral, release the foot into the floor, and gently lengthen back out. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.